Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. One, two, three. So, I look gross because I just woke up. <laughs> You're sweetie. Um, I wanted to do like a vlog type of thing today. So that's what I'm doing. So this is the reality. I woke up like this and what are you doing? Um, Duncan usually sleeps up in my room with me, but last night it was super hot in my room and he couldn't get comfortable. So he slept downstairs in his crate and Finn sleeps downstairs in his crate as well. Franklin's up on his cat tree right now. I would show you, but my room's really messy. So I don't want to show you guys. Um, so I thought I would just bring you along on what I do in a day. Um, I don't really have anything super exciting today. Um, my mom and I are going to see a play today, so I have to make sure that the dogs are exercised because they're gonna have to be in their kennel for a little bit. Well, we could do that, but that's not until like later in the day. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like eight o'clock. <laughs> this is literally how we sleep and my boyfriend he already left for school um i didn't have school this week so this isn't gonna be like super realistic because usually i have school and work but i don't have either of those today so that's great so i should probably get up before the dog starts screaming but first i have to feed the cats and turn on benvolio's lights and things like that so Let's go do that. Good morning, stinky boy. Good morning, stinky boy. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the kisses. You seeing what's all going on in the world today? What's going on in the world? Yeah? Yeah? Yep? You sure? <laughs> what are you doing? You're silly. You're silly. You're silly. You're so silly. Somebody didn't eat any of his, oh, there you are. Didn't eat any of his wet food. What is wrong with you? You don't like the tuna? You don't like the tuna? It's been a struggle trying to learn what this cat will and will not eat. Um, so far, the only brands of <laughs> wet food that he'll eat is like Fancy Feast, which I'm not, I'm not a big fan of, or this brand called Applause. And that stuff is kind of expensive and I don't want to just feed him the same thing because then I feel like he'll get bored of it. So I've been trying to try out some new things. Um, that was the Merrick tuna recipe that apparently he's not a fan of. But he likes the Merrick rabbit recipe. So maybe you're just bougie, hmm? Maybe you're just bougie and you like the, the weird stuff, hmm? The weird stuff. Good morning, Ben. No! Oh, what the fuck was that? Ben's light just went out. It won't turn back on. It doesn't even look that burnt. What? Oh my gosh. Well, we're gonna have to run to my work today and get him a new light. So, that's on the agenda to do today as Never well. Never mind, I had an extra bulb. Also, ignore how disgusting his tank looks. Um, that is also on the agenda to do today, is I have to clean it. Huh. Hi, stinky boys. It's time to clean the cage. I'm going to go ahead and feed all the cats their dry food and collect their wet food bowls to bring them downstairs to clean them for later tonight when they get fed again. Got all the wet food bowls. Do these boys want to come out? Do these boys have to go potty? Is that what's going on? Is it time to go potty? Okay, just a minute. Just a minute. Good morning. Beware headphone users. He's going to scream when he comes out. Oh, not too bad this morning. Not too bad this morning. Should we go potty? Okay. Just a minute. Let mom out first. All right. Potty, potty. Go, go, go. Off they go. Are you ready to come in? Okay. Come on in. Where's your brothers? Uh, the brothers are still pooping. What are you doing, Finn? What are you doing all the way over there? What are you doing? What are, hey, what are you doing? Why are you fighting the cat? 
Why are you fighting the cat? Now it's time to feed these beasts. They've been starving all night. It's time to eat. Also, I'm going to be getting them new slow feed bowls for the big two. Sweetie can keep his little dish. It works perfectly fine for him. But the big ones, I would like them to have kind of similar things. And this doesn't really do much. Not that he eats that fast anyway, but still. I want to get them all matching ones. So, Sweetie gets half a cup of the Nutrisource Senior. There he goes. Finn gets one cup of regular Nutrisource. They're on the chicken and rice one right now, but I'm gonna have to crack open their beef one pretty soon because they're getting kind of low. And Duncan, what are you doing? I'm trying to talk. And Duncan gets two cups. So, Dingus in total eats one cup. Finn eats two cups and Duncan eats four cups, um, but they get fed twice a day, if that makes any sense. In the mornings, they don't really get anything special. I just put some warm water on top and then they eat it like that. But at night is when they get their supplements like sea meal, hip and joint supplement, um, pumpkin, their robble, all of that fancy stuff. I let these guys sit for a few minutes. That's the hardest time for Mr. Finn, isn't it? Mr. Finn, don't give me that look. Don't, Mr. Finn, don't give me attitude. Don't give me attitude. We go through this every day. You have to wait. It's kind of tootish. Duncan, what do you think? Can you sit? Hey, sit. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's a very smart boy. Very smart, sweetie. Sweetie, you're my old man. You're my old man, sweetie. Look at that thing. Look at him. He's crackhead. Oh, he's gonna pick it up and go. Oh, no? He found the water. Oh, maybe? Who knows? Oops. Duncan, you leave him be now. Hey, don't you dare. Ready for these foods? All right, let's go. Sweetie gets fed first because Sweetie's a senior. He gets fed over here. I don't, Duncan likes to play with shoes. That's why there's random shoes all over the house. And then, Don, uh, not Duncan, God, Finn. Finn's next in line for seniority. Finn will be three this year. Oh my gosh. I'm coming back for yours. Give me a sec. And then my ducky who will be two at the end of this year. Wow, where did time go? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Eat them foods. Eat them foods. Yum, yum, yum. We've got Sweetie over here chomping it up. Yum, yum, yum. Good stuff. And then that thing, who I don't, I never know what he's doing anymore. Time to miss down. These snakes, I'm out of water, just a moment. Okay, so like I was saying, now it's time to mist down the snakes. And my mister is like low-key broken, so this takes freaking forever. So I won't show you that whole process, but Juniper gets misted down and Ivy gets misted down. Junie's currently in shed, so she's not happy, but you know. All right, boys are done eating. Then I'll go ahead, what's your hand? I'll go ahead, clean out their bowls. Probably clean out the cat bowls as well. And now it's time to go potty again. You gotta go potty again. You gotta go potty again, Finn? Finn? He's searching for more food, that's what he does. He's gotta make sure that everyone finished their food. Go ahead. Go ahead, yay! Yay, boys! Oh, yesterday we brought the pool out and all three dogs have been sitting by the pool. So maybe we'll actually get it up and running today. Also, it looks disgusting because it was sitting in our shed the whole winter, but maybe we'll go ahead and get that up and going today. They're looking very interested in it. Well, obviously not, not. Sweetie, what are you doing? Are you digging? What is wrong okay, with you? So I waited about an hour for their stomachs to digest, and now I'm on a walk with Finn. Um, my goal for the two big dogs is two miles each, 
so we'll see how this goes. He always pulls a little bit at first because he's excited, but he usually stops pulling later on. Um, but I brought Finn first because it's still quite cool. And Duncan, oh, he's pooping. Let me grab the poop bag, hold on. Wait, now that that's picked up. Back to what I was saying. Um, I brought Finn out first. Hey, I brought Finn out first because it's still cooler. I know, and I know it's gonna get hot out pretty soon here. Um, so I brought him first because he can't handle the heat as well as Duncan can. And then I'll bring Duncan. And then I'll probably bring Sweetie. Um, so, yeah. So the reason why we're going pretty short today at only two miles is because usually my mom comes with us. Come on. And so she'll have one dog, I'll have the other. And that way it's only one four mile walk or three mile or five mile, whatever we do that day. But since she's not here, I'm taking them one at a time because they do a lot better by themselves than together. So um, since it's gonna be separate, that would be like six miles if I did like both the dogs at what they usually do. So it's gonna be a little less than what they usually do, but it's also quite hot out today. So maybe we'll go for a second walk later this evening as well. Who knows? This way, this way. Two miles down and we're almost home. We've almost made it. We're almost there. He's going to smell all the things today, huh? All the things to smell today. Now it is Duncan's turn. Uh, Finn and I walked 2.3 miles, I believe. Um, now it's Ducky's turn. He's always a crackhead in the beginning. He doesn't pull too much though. He just kind of like runs from place to place. But he doesn't pull that bad. This walk is feeling much longer. We haven't even hit a mile yet. And I'm already dying. One mile down, one more to go. So close to two miles, so we're doing one more little block around the house to hit those two miles. Becky's hot though, he's tired. I don't wanna push him too much. Both the boys are now done with their walks. Look at them, happy boys. Happy tired boys. I have the AC cranking now, because Got a little hot, huh? Got a little hot. You're cute. Finn, you're cute. You, those are some cute boys. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up their water a little bit and wipe it down because it got dirty. You made it dirty, yes you did. So, friend is also gonna be coming over here in about, mm, I'd say like an hour or so. So I won't vlog too much of that just because it's kind of irrelevant to this video. Um, but then we'll do more exciting stuff later on in the afternoon but it is just way too hot right now. It is steaming outside, so. Okay, so I'm sorry that the lighting is terrible and that the angle is terrible. Um, my mom and I just got back from a grease play that we went to go see, um, and then I just fed the dogs. So it's currently 10 o'clock at night now, um, but I'm positive that you guys are probably confused about my last, or the last clip of the rabbit. Um, basically, right after my friend had left, which is where I left off in this vlog, my coworker had called talking about this bunny that came in that got dropped on his head and now has head trauma, so that's why he shakes like that. Um, he can't walk the best either, um, so I'm taking him in, trying to get him better. That's basically what that clip was, it was just me showing you guys him. I think... Um, I'm not going to talk too much about him in this vlog. 
Um, he doesn't even have a name yet. This is his first day home. Like he's just been here for like seven hours. If that, um, I've just been leaving him upstairs to kind of have time to adjust. Um, but I think my next video will be more in depth explaining what happened to him and things like that. Um, so I just want to make a little disclaimer here that rabbits honestly are not good pets for children. Um, it was in fact a child who dropped this rabbit on his head and this is why he's like this now. Um, I will say this loud and clear. If you can't watch your kids 100% around an animal, then don't have that animal. I understand they're kids, but when it comes to another creature's life, it's not the best idea. Not something you want to mess around with. I don't care how much you love your child and how much your child loves animals. If they can't be responsible around that child or around that animal, don't get it. Duncan. And I know it was probably an honest mistake. I know no kid would, most kids would not purposely drop a rabbit on their head, but that's why they need parent supervision to make sure that things like this don't happen. Because now this is a life-threatening condition that this rabbit has. We don't know if we'll, he'll make it. We don't even know if he can get better, if it's treatable, anything. So keep that in mind before getting your kid a pet is if you can sit there and supervise them 100% of the time that they're around this animal. That's kind of what I want to say. Um, this is where I'm going to leave the vlog off because there's not much to do other than feed the cats and go to bed. Like I said, my next video will be more in-depth explaining what happened to him, who he is, um, how I I got him, things like that. Um, but I don't want to share too much in this vlog because I don't want it to get too long. So stay tuned for the next video um, to learn a little bit more about him and what we're going to do to try and help him. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!